doesn't feel right for one of these places. We've been told about a well-known local faith healer called Pastor Sean Pinder. Oh, Pastor Sean, nice to meet you. We turn up unannounced to meet him where he's guesting at a small service in the unlikely venue of a children's nursery. Pastor James asks Pastor Sean and his host if he and the camera crew can stay, and luckily they agree. So Nathan takes his place at the back of the room to watch at first hand a genuine healing service. has an extreme style, and once the crowd are at their most receptive, he starts the healings. If you are Indian, you are hard of hearing, I want you to come up here. You, come here. You hard of hearing? If, if we close up your left ear and speak to you, would you be able to hear? This man says he's partially deaf in one ear, which Pastor Sean is quick to express as a more major affliction. You can't hear nothing. Oh my God. Somebody shout, be open! After the healing moment, it seems as if something miraculous has occurred. Can you hear me? Yes. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 To prove the man's deaf ear had been healed, Pastor Sean had him face away so he couldn't lip read and had his assistant block his good ear. But from this camera angle, you can see that the man's good ear isn't being blocked at all. So maybe it's not such a miracle. Pastor Sean keeps going with several more healings of the kind we've studied. This lady is nearly able to touch her toes after spending years with a spinal problem. The euphoric service, like many healing rallies, creates a major adrenaline rush. Adrenaline is a powerful painkiller. People feel less pain and can mistake this for their body being healed, especially when a pastor is telling everyone that's what's happening. But they're actually no better and are still in need of the medicine that many pastors tell them to throw away. Pastor Sean leaves the stage triumphant. The entire service lasted for four hours and has been an invaluable lesson. Then something happened that nobody expected. Nathan is given the chance to plug his own show. Thank you very much, thank you very, very much. Me, I come from Uganda, I come over to the UK. I was following a vision that I got given by the Lord. He said to come to Texas. He said to come to Texas and preach his word as far and wide as I could. And we're having a revival on Saturday, Lakewood Theatre, 7 p.m. God bless you, Pastor James. God bless you, Pastor. I love you, man. When encouraged to do so, the congregation are very happy to hand over their cash, which is collected by the man who was healed of his deafness. The whole thing was very powerful, and I can't touch in terms of performance and energy, what I saw in there tonight. I feel bad for my duplicity, I feel bad for my being a spy, basically. But the business of their profession is to get as much money out of people as possible. They should be talking about faith and love, and it's always about money. I can see Nathan keeps getting better, but I still don't know if his performance will be strong enough on the that night to create the effects we need. You cannot Feel that God-shaped hole. I command in Jesus' name those devils of blindness to leave this man in Jesus' holy name. Spirit, fall upon this man.